Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Louis Piluso. Today we're going to be checking out the Novation app that is called Components. It allows you to control any kind of product that you have from Novation. Today we're going to be talking about how to edit the Novation circuit tracks and rhythm and teach you how to use this app that I really like, I really enjoy because it allows me to use it like a library for samples and packs, the synthesizer that it comes with two synths that you can fully program and change and modify so this is like extremely powerful and today I'm going to teach you how to use it. So if you are excited, click on the bell and get subscribed to this channel that is brand new. And all I want to do is help you out with this and teach you how to use the software and different pieces of gear that when I was researching to learn how to use them, a video like this would have been extremely helpful. So, and also leave me comments with any kind of questions or if you like this video, also leave me a thumbs up or a nice comment that I truly appreciate it. Of course, I'm going to be leaving affiliated links below in the description so you can go and check out Novation Circuit further and let's get cracking with this video. So how do we download and install Components? Well, Components is very practical because you can use it inside of Google Chrome, for instance, and open it like in your web browser, and it will recognize automatically whatever product from Novation you have connected through USB. So that's very important. You have to have it connected through USB to the computer. And also you can download their app that is available also for your phone or for your tablet or for your computer. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to download the version for Mac. For me, it's the most practical thing to do, to have it inside of an app instead of a browser. But the browser is a very good choice if you are in somebody else's computer. So let's jump into the app. I'm going to teach you how to use it. So once we connect it by a USB, our circuit, tracks or rhythm to the computer, we go into components dot novationmusic.com and we can go into each of our novation units so let's use as an example tracks since it offers the possibility to add your own packs and samples such as the rhythm as well as editing two full synths so let's click on manage circuit tracks and we have up here we have packs midi templates and synth if we go into packs, we can click on upload an existing pack or create a new one. Let's create a new one. So here we have our empty slots for our samples, which we have two different pages. On the circuit rhythm, we have more pages than on the tracks, but let's stick to this for the moment. So we can select from different packs that come already with Novation, which we can just throw them into our library. But let's create our own one, because for instance, I have my own sample pack that I'll link below that offers more than 200 custom made samples for different kinds of music genres. It's thought as an essential pack. So you just drag and drop your samples into whatever slots you'd like drop it into the first one and now for instance we can listen to what's happening so if you only want to add this pack for instance of only kicks we just go into pack settings and we can change the name for instance i can put kick louis and then we just send it off to the circuit tracks so we can send the individual samples and that would work if we already have an existing pack and we just want to add new samples or we can just click on send pack so we can choose from the number five onwards because they are all empty. And one thing to notice is that you have to buy an extra SD card to be able to load more than one pack because otherwise it will only allow you to have one pack at a time. So we just click on this one that is number five empty and we just send pack, send an example one and that's it. If we go into MIDI templates, we can choose from different presets of routing possibilities. Mainly they are all custom made for famous synthesizers, which everything is already customly selected the CC number for it to work in the perfect manner. And then if we go into synth, we can create our own patches, upload different patches that a friend of yours might have created, or we can choose the ones that come with Novation that are actually presets from the Nova synthesizer, which sound great. But you can create your own because you have two sets of synthesizers fully built. So it has two oscillators, a mixer, filter, three envelopes, and two LFOs. 
So the oscillators, of course, this is a digital synthesizer, but it works in a standalone mode inside of your circuit tracks. So it means that you don't need a computer to be able to perform live. So here we have a selection of different waveforms that we can choose from. And we can choose between two different oscillators with the main and basic functions that you need for each oscillator. Then they mix in this mixer, so we can choose the level of each of them, add noise, ring modulation, pre-effects and post-effects. Then we have our filter, which we can choose between low pass, band pass and high pass with different slopes. And then we have our three envelopes, which to be able to assign our envelopes to different parameters, we can select that, that envelope one is assigned to the oscillator's semitones. We can do that. Oh, that's a bit annoying. So let's actually cancel this and let's take it to the middle and we can assign that envelope to the frequency and we can lower the frequency down and have that kind of effect. And so you can actually play your circuit tracks. I'm clicking on the buttons right now and you can hear how the sound changes, which is wonderful. And we also have our two different LFOs that we can choose between different waveforms, which I absolutely love and it has different sequence, which is great. I mean, it's really nicely built. And then you have different macros that you can combine different knobs. Then you have your effects. You can choose between chorus and phaser. You have an equalizer, distortion, and different types for your voicing. So you can choose between mono, auto glide, and polyphonic, portamento, you can choose how much you want, pre glide, and keyboard octave, which are things that you always want on your synthesizer, where we can actually route everything like in the way we did before with the envelope, but just do it from a menu. So we can choose, for instance, that I want the velocity to affect the frequency cutoff. So we, I just go into filter uh, frequency. So that means that, that depending on how hard I hit the keyboard, the frequency cutoff will shift and change position. Or I can choose LFO one to be assigned to, for instance, the pulse width, which is really, really nice if we have a square waveform. And once we have our own settings, we just send them to the circuit tracks, you guessed it, and we can assign it to any of the packs that we already have. So you can actually create your own songs and, for instance, you can choose to take it live and just use it as a standalone unit and be able to use the synth function and have two different synthesizers. You can also have a sequencer, you can control external synths and you have drum sounds which is a really complete thing for a portable drum machine sequencer and synthesizer. And lastly, like I said, we have two different synths. So it, it's just as easy as clicking on your own circuit tracks from synth 2, that is where we at now, and you can recognize it by it being green, and we click on synth 1 and, and it will change to pink. And that's as easy as it gets. I hope that was useful and helpful and it cleared some of your questions about how to integrate the circuit with the app and how to expand its possibilities. That is absolutely amazing. I'm Louis Piluso. I'm going to leave the links below so you can go and check out the Innovation Circuit. I'll see you in the next video. I will leave you here a playlist with other videos I made of the Innovation Circuit so you can continue learning how to do it for instance, the circuit tracks versus rhythm and understand how it works and also how to sync your sequencer to your door. That works with any kind of synth that is connected by a USB. I'm Louis Peluso and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Bye bye.